last week was all about getting the basics right. This week, I had to make footage from the iPhone 15 Pro in log and footage from the Sony FX look like they came from the same camera. Week 2 of my 30 day color grading challenge is about to hit a real test. Matching color from two completely different cameras on paper, it sounds easy, but in reality, yeah, not so much. In case you haven't watched last week's video of my 30 day color grading challenge, I'll leave a link down in the description. So here's the issue. Different cameras don't just have different resolutions. They come with different sensors. The color science is different and the way they interpret white balance is different too. Both cameras can produce really good log footage of flat images. In other words, so if I graded them the same way, they will not actually look the same. That's where matching comes in, not just grading, but making them feel like they are from the same shot. I start by neutralizing both clips, fixing white balance, lifting shadows, and bringing exposure to a similar level. You can't match colors if your lighting levels are all over the place. I'll split the adjustment layer to fit all five clips. And by the way guys, this video is supported by viewers like you and affiliate partners. Today's affiliate partner is NordVPN. If you're like me, you're always online uploading videos downloading footage or just browsing. The last thing you want is your data being tracked or your connection slowing down. That's why NordVPN comes in. It keeps your connections private, secure and fast. With one click, you can connect to servers all around the world, which can even help when you need access to regional blocked content. If you'd like to support the channel and try NordVPN for yourself, I've left my affiliate link down in the description. Signing up to it helps me keep making tutorials like this one and it won't cost you anything extra. Without further ado, let's jump back to it. I have waveform and vector scope open on the side. Matching skin tones first is the priority. One skin looks right, most of the image falls into place. For tricky colors like the greens in my outdoor shot, I use hue versus hue curves to shift tones without touching everything else. Then start adjusting my shadows. Then after that, I'll adjust my highlight. Then add a little bit of exposure. I'll fine tune the blacks a little bit and then jump straight to the creative panel. And over here, as you can see, I use the same lot that I used on the iPhone clip, but it's not doing this clip any good, so I'll turn that off for the meantime. Next, I'll head over to HSL secondary and highlight the skin tones. This is because I don't like the way the skin tones look in this particular clip, so I'll reset all this and get a fresh start. Let me pick the reds, because this is where the skin tones lie, and start by fine tuning the mask. I'll adjust this to my like somewhere around there and then add a little bit of blur let's say about there I'll disable this then since we're dealing with the skin tones I wanna go to the warmer tones let's say around right between the orange and the reds to get that perfect orange look on the skin tones Then I'll add a little bit of saturation just to make the skin tones pop. And as you can see, the skin is lining up quite well. So back to the creative panel, I'll turn the light that I added earlier and use the iPhone grade that I did as a reference, trying to match almost all the exact look I got on the iPhone. So I'll create a new adjustment layer drag it to my timeline on top of the color correction adjustment layer that we already have then I'll label it orange just so that you can keep track of what we are doing I'll head over to HSL secondary and select the greens or the green part of my video for tricky colors like the green in my outdoor shot I use hue versus hue curves to shift tones without 
touching everything else. And when the iPhone blues away to neon, I use secondary color correction to isolate and fix just those areas. Then I'll adjust the mask and in case you haven't noticed, I'm trying to match the type of luminosity or the color of the green. I'm trying to get them to match the iPhone spec green. You know what I'm saying? So I'll fine tune my mask and then I'll add a little bit of blur to the mask that I just did. And after that, I'll drag the color wheel in the correction panel of the HSL secondary towards the greens and try to match the look that we have, that we already have on the iPhone footage. I'll adjust the tint and take it towards the green side, zoom in a little bit just to see what I'm working with. As you can see, we are almost there. So I'll head over to Curves. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to, I'm stretching the two adjustment layers that are corrected for the new Sony clip and going through them as, we can, as you can see. We're quite close to the iPhone gray that we already did in the first week of the challenge so i'll separate them to fit the actual clips that i want them to that i want to correct and i'll go through each one of them correcting the curves the, and the exposure and all those tiny little settings that we did just try to just trying to match and get the perfect look that i'm going for as you can see we matched the iphone foot footage shot on the sony fx6 Quite easy, they look almost identical like they came straight from one camera. And mind you, this footage was shot in two different locations under two different lighting circumstances and shot on two different sensors. The biggest takeaway, matching isn't about making every pixel identical, it's about creating a consistent viewing experience so your audience never notices the diff. That's week 2 done. If you have ever struggled with matching footage from the same camera, try this workflow. It will save you hours. Alright, so that's week 2 done. But next week we're going all in. I'm pushing my grading beyond just matching colors. I'm talking straight cinematic lots, film emulations, and making digital footage feel like it came straight from a movie set. Trust me, you're gonna want to see this. So if you're enjoying the series, you're enjoying the challenge, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you like this video, share it with your friends. Until next week, peace.